Windows 10 support is about to end and Windows 11 has some really steep hardware requirements. If you don't want to buy a new computer, you might be looking for a free solid alternative. And maybe you've heard about Linux, but it seems complicated. But it really isn't. You are in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Pop OS a version of Linux that's actually really easy to use. I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step from preparation to your brand new desktop. We'll cover everything you need to know, including some crucial preparation steps that many tutorials skip. Let's get your computer set up with a great operating system for free. And before we start, if you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you will like this video and find it helpful, please support with a like. I appreciate it very much and let's get started. Before we even touch the USB drive, there are three absolutely essential things we need to do now. First, back up your data. I cannot stress this enough. We will be erasing your main drive. Save all your important documents, photos and files to an external hard drive or a cloud service. Better safe than sorry. Second, we need to download the Pop OS ISO file. This is the installation image. Head over to system76.com slash pop. It will take you to their official web page. Here you can learn more about Pop OS if you wish, but let's go ahead and continue with the download. Simply click on the download button. This will take you to the download page where we're going to see three different versions of Pop OS ISO. We need to download the correct one for your system. The two main ones, one for Nvidia graphics card and one for Intel and AMD. If your computer has an Nvidia GPU, download the Nvidia version. If you're not sure or if you have Intel or AMD graphics, download the standard version. It's a safer bet for most users. There is also a Raspberry Pi version for enthusiasts, but if you're one of them, you probably already know how to install Pop OS, no problem. I have an Nvidia graphics card in my computer, so I will download the Nvidia one. Just press download and save it to the downloads. The ISO file is 3 GB, so it will take a bit of time to download it depending on your internet speed. And as you can see, it also says to disable secure boot in the BIOS, which we're gonna do in the next step. After the download is complete, make sure to verify the downloaded ISO file for integrity. For that, you can use the free program called 7-Zip, which you can download it from the 7-Zip.org website. After that, open the downloads folder, right click on the downloaded ISO file, choose 7-Zip, then choose CRC SHA and select SHA-256. It's going to calculate the alphanumeric sequence, the SHA-256 checksum, Simply highlight it, copy it, then go back to the website and press Ctrl F and paste the alphanumeric sequence. If it's going to find the alphanumeric sequence on the website, this means it's a perfect match and the file has been downloaded correctly. So you can proceed to the next step. Third, we need a tool to write this ISO file to a USB drive. We can't just copy it over. It has to be flashed. For this, we'll use a free open source tool called Balana Etcher. Just search for Balana Etcher in your browser and download it. It's available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. If Balana Etcher doesn't work for some reason, you can try Rufus, which is another great tool you can use, or Vento if you like. Vento is actually a pretty cool program. It allows you to copy multiple ISOs onto one USB drive, and then you can choose which one you want to boot. Finally, you'll need a USB drive that's at least 8GB in size. Anything on it will be completely erased. So make sure it's empty or you're okay with losing the data. Okay, with the ISO downloaded and Etcher installed, let's create our bootable USB drive. Open up Balana Etcher. It's a very simple three-step process. Step 1. Click Flash from file and select Pop OS ISO file you just downloaded. Step 2. Select target, make sure your USB drive is selected, double check the drive letter and size so you don't accidentally erase the wrong drive. Step 3. Click flash. If you will get a security message pop up, press yes and the process will begin. This will take a few minutes. Once it's done, it says flash complete. You can close Etcher. Safely eject the USB drive and pull it out if you're planning to install it on a different computer. If you will be installed on the same computer, you can keep it plugged in. 
This next part is the most crucial, but it's also the most important for smoother installation. We need to change some settings in your computer's BIOS and UEFI firmware. This is the low-level software that starts up before your operating system. To get into this menu, you need to restart your computer and press a specific key right as it starts up. This is usually delete, F2, F10 or F12, but I'm gonna put a list of all possible keys for different computer manufacturers. It's different for every manufacturer, so just pick the one that's designed for your specific model. Once you're in the BIOS menu, you're looking for two or three key settings. First, disable secure boot. This is a security feature that can sometimes block Linux from installing. Look for it in the security or boot tab and set it to disable. Second, disable fast boot in BIOS. This ensures the computer fully shuts down and will recognize your USB drive. Third, most important for some laptops and PCs, change SATA operation from RST Optane to AHCI. If you have a modern Intel based laptop or PC, this is critical. In the configuration or drive selection, look for SATA mode or storage option. If it's set to Intel RST or RAID, you must change it to AHCI. Why is this so important? Because Linux cannot install onto a drive that's in RST mode. Also make sure that booting from the USB drive is enabled. Once you've made these changes, save and exit. This is usually done by pressing F10. Your computer will now restart. Now, with the USB drive plugged in, we need to boot from it. As a computer restarts, we'll need to press a key to bring up the boot menu. This is often F12, F10 or Escape. But I'm also going to put a list of different possible keys for different manufacturers. So just pick the one that's designed for your specific model. From this boot menu, select your USB drive. It might be listed as UEFI and then your USB drive name or simply USB or something like that. The computer will now boot into the Pop! OS installer. You will be greeted with a language selection screen. Choose your language and then click select. Then choose your preferred keyboard layout. You can also test it if you like and then click select. And then you'll see two options. Try demo mode and install Pop! OS. Demo mode lets you test it out without installing. But since you're ready, let's go ahead and install Pop! OS. There are two different options how you can install Pop! OS on your computer. Clean install, this will erase everything on the disk and install Pop! OS. This is what most beginners should choose if they want to fully replace Windows or Mac OS. Custom or advanced, this is for if you want to dual boot or manually partition. It's designed for more advanced users, so we're not going to cover it in this video. But if you would like to know how to manually partition the drive for Linux, I have a separate video that you can check out. I'm going to put a link in the description, so make sure to check it out if you want to install Pop! OS alongside with Windows, or if you want to simply manually create partitions like a root partition, home partition, swap partition, and other partitions as well. We're going for simplicity today, so let's select clean install. The installer will show you disk it will erase. Please double check this. Make sure it's your main internal drive and not your external backup drive or something else. If you have more than one drive, this is where you need to be extra careful. Once you're sure, click erase and install. Let's create your user account. Put in your name, a username and a secure password. I'm just gonna put a simple password for demonstration, but make sure you use a secure password. It is a really good idea to encrypt your drive. This will protect your data from being read by others who has physical access to your device. It adds an extra layer of security, but you will be required to enter encryption password every time you start your computer. So for now, I'm not gonna encrypt it, but if you wanna have that extra layer of security, I encourage you to do that. Just make sure you remember your password. The installation process will now begin. This will take a few minutes and it will copy all the necessary files and set up the system. It's a great time to grab a drink. Once it's done, you can either restart your computer or shut it down. I prefer to shut it down. This one you can safely remove the USB drive that you used to install Pop! OS. So when the screen goes black, pull out your USB drive from the computer and then next time you start it, it will boot from your internal drive. 
And here we go, the first boot into your brand new operating system. You'll go through a quick and easy setup process. First configure the toolbar how you like it, learn how to open and switch applications from launcher, use gestures for easier navigation, select your preferred appearance, light or dark, you can enable location services, then select your time zone, you can also connect your online accounts, and you're all done, you can start using Pop! OS. You have successfully installed Pop! OS, take a moment to explore the Cosmic Desktop, it's very intuitive. The Pop! Shop is your app store where you can install new software and the top bar is where you'll find your system settings and notifications. So that's it, I hope you find this video helpful, if you like it, please support with a like. If you first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new upcoming Linux videos. Also if you're gonna have some questions or comments, please drop them down in the comment section below. And if you would like to support my channel, you can always use super thanks or simply buy me a coffee. I'm gonna put the links in the description. But this is it for today, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.